If you're in the market for a laptop for Irish weather, uh, this ThinkPad T470 seems to fit the bill. As you can see, we're giving it a nice shower here. And the screen is happily displaying away. So, if you're someone who likes to spill your coffee or, or write novels in the rain, then this is definitely the machine to go for. Uh, I'm Ashley Rolfe, the senior technologist from Lenovo UK and Ireland. And uh, we're going to show you some of the products we got here today. So we're launching at the show at the BET uh, three products designed specifically for schools. Uh, we have the 100E, the 300E and the 500E. Uh, all of these are available in Chromebook or Windows 10. Um, so we'd have Windows 10S is a, is a good starting Windows platform for schools. Uh, and then the Chrome it obviously is great for uh, centralized management and the ability to control the devices uh, and reduce costs for management overall. We look at the 100E, so fairly lightweight, compact, uh, but it has a legendary Lenovo build quality. Uh, so uh, it's drop tested from uh, 0.7 meters. Uh, so this is about the average desk height, so you can drop it on the floor. Very, very rugged design. Uh, the keys are anchored. Uh, we do see uh, in our countries quite a bit where keys uh, keys will get picked off mysteriously by children in, in the classrooms so uh, so these keys are anchored in place so you can't pick them off the keyboard itself is sealed so for uh, liquid spillages um, all you have to do is to drain the liquids out so low cost uh, really good value and a very rugged traditional clamshell device we move on then to the um, slightly higher spec uh, 300E, again this is available in the clamshell or as we have here the uh, yoga, the yoga device you can spin it around and use it like a tablet. Um, actually one point worth mentioning, all of these devices and in fact the entire ThinkPad, Lenovo ThinkPad 2018 product range uh, uses USB Type-C. Uh, we've implemented uh, Type-C uh, as a mechanism to charge the device and uh, use the USB Type-C for docking, for peripherals. Uh, it's basically the, the panacea of connectivity moving forward. And we, we've implemented it in a completely open format. So we're not locking anyone down to Lenovo Technologies. You could charge this device using someone else's power adapter quite easily. You can also use this power adapter to charge your phones, charge your Bluetooth speakers and so on. So it's really, really good, make, really simplifies uh, uh, docking and charging. One of the cool features about the, the 300E, I'll show you here, I'll just grab a pen, a pencil from over here. So uh, we appreciate that in a classroom environment, uh, giving students styluses is fantastic, but they are expensive and they do get lost. So on this device here, uh, I, I need to sharpen the tip, but we don't have them, health and safety. Um, if you use any pencil, if it has a graphite, a graphite core in it, which pencils do, you can use the, uh, you can use the, the pencil as a stylus uh, and you can use it to draw on the screen and so on. Uh, let's bring that down. So uh, really, really neat way because let's face it, we do lose styluses, but in a school you're always going to have a pencil about. The top of the range then is the, the 500E, and the 500E has a similar format. Here we see it's the yoga variant, similar format, but it's a bit more powerful, uh, it has slightly higher specs, and also you can see here the world-facing camera. Uh, the world-facing camera means that you can use this device like a tablet, like so, and still take pictures uh, from the rear of the screen uh, just by facing the keyboard towards the, uh, the item you're taking a picture of. Again, same docking capability, same USB Type-C, same rugged construction, uh, similar format, similar low price, available in Chrome and Windows. Okay. We've seen it quite a few times, yeah, absolutely. So uh, what's going on in this display, can you tell us, Ashley? So here we're just showing uh, some of the environments that we see ThinkPads in. So, what a lot of people don't realize is that uh, the Lenovo ThinkPad, we really differentiate ourselves by having the most rugged devices uh, available on the market. 
Um, that's the reason why, uh, for instance, on the International Space Station, we've got about 130 ThinkPads. It's the laptop of choice for the, the, the space station. Obviously, we can't honor our on-site warranty, uh, but they know, the, the, they know the devices are as uh, strong as possible. So here, we're just showing, uh, in a very simple way, some of the uh, military spec tests that we put our kit through. So some of the tests that we do would be uh, dust, vibration, altitude, drop and shock, uh, temperature shock where you go to high to low temperatures and uh, you might not think it's that suitable uh, but actually you know if you leave a laptop in the back of a car in winter it can go very 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 cold if you then bring it into the the heat you get problems with condensation so we want to make sure the ThinkPad brand is as solid as possible so here we're showing silicates uh, dust and, and sand uh, next to it we have a um, uh, an oven which uh, I think someone's just opened it, so it's come down to 30 degrees, but usually it's running at about 40 degrees. Um, so we're just showing that not only is it quite happily run in that environment, it also has a very, very good battery life and it lasts the entire day of the bench show without uh, any degradation of the battery quality, even at 40 degrees. Over here, uh, we have this poor old ThinkPad. Uh, it's, it's been in the shower for, for the last uh, few days now and um, we're just showing some of the uh, liquid resistance of the ThinkPad. But over here, uh, this is the one that I, I like the most, it's fantastic. Minus 21 degrees, covered in ice. Um, you'll notice that the screen still looks vibrant, it's still happily operating. Uh, usually we get uh, an impact on battery life at very low temperatures, but the ThinkPad still lasts the entire bet day. Uh, the screen still looks vibrant. Uh, it's quite happily operated at these low conditions. Honestly, uh, if a school is operating at minus 20 degrees, then there should be some questions asked about the operating environment anyway. Uh, but we just want to show how solid and reliable the ThinkPad brand is. Thank you, Ashley.